Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with another video tutorial for the new Boston. We're going to be looking at the stop animation in effect in jQuery. Um, now, I guess you wouldn't really call it an actual effect, but what the stop function does is stops an animation um, from, you know, from currently, well, it will stop an animation as it is happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create an image and a button. So the button is going to toggle the image sliding up and down, but we're also going to include another button which will stop the animation while it's happening. So for example, if the image has slid down halfway, we can use the stop button to stop the animation. So let's go ahead and create two paragraphs. Um, in the first one is going to be our button. So we have button and a value of start. Um, we'll also give this an ID as well. Let's say ID equals start. Um, we can now create another button quite similarly, but this time it's going to be uh, to stop the animation. So the type is button, the value is stop, and we can give this an ID as well, and that's going to be stop. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and preview this on our page. We have a start button and a stop button. So let's go down and include the image that we want to toggle. So image source, and that is tartan.jpg. The alt can just be tartan. And uh, we need to give an ID to the paragraph. Now in the last tutorial, when we looked at the slide effect, uh, which I'm going to be using in this tutorial as well, uh, we noted that we can't actually use the slide effect for an image itself. We have to use it in something that surrounds it. And in this case, that's a paragraph. So I'm going to give this paragraph an ID of image uh, because we know that there's an image inside of it. So this is what it looks like in the browser. When we click start, the animation is going to take place. and We're going to toggle this using the slide toggle function. The image is going to slide up or down depending on uh, where it, whereabouts it is at the you know, at the current state, uh, either hidden or shown. And then stop is going to stop this animation in its tracks. So let's go ahead and create a event handler for this start. So um, inside of our effects.js file, which we've included in our page, we need to go ahead and create an event handler for this button. So um, start, this is um, we're going to say dot click. So when the user has clicked, we execute uh, code within a block in this function here. So we've got our function as normal and our block of code. And inside here, we want to slide toggle. So we reference the image. Remember the image paragraph we created, and we use the slide toggle function to do this. And I'm going to set a time of. Let's just give us a chance to click on the button. So three seconds. So when we click on the start button, you can see that the image uh, slowly uh, shuts. Actually, we'll give it five. So when we click on start, it takes five seconds from the bottom to the top. And then when we click start again, it will open back out and slide back down. So that's the slide toggle function. Now stop is going to call a stop to the current animation path. So what we want to do is we want to create another callback function, or sorry, another event handler for the stop button. So let's say hash stop dot click. So essentially when the stop button is clicked, remember we called the stop button stop just here. When this is clicked, we create a function or we execute a function. And this is essentially going to reference image. And then we just say dot stop. So now that we've called dot stop on this, while this slide toggle um, effect is taking place, we can then click the stop button to stop the effect. Let's go back to our browser and click start. Now that's loading or that's uh, sliding up. Let's slide it back down again. And this time we're going to press stop before it gets to the end. So we press stop and you see that the animation has stopped. Um, when we press start, it will toggle it because it hasn't got to the end of the animation. With regards to resuming um, an animation, like I showed you earlier, we start the animation and then we can stop it at a particular point. 
uh, you'll see that um, we have this problem. Now, the reason for this is that jQuery doesn't actually have a um, resume functionality. However, there are um, a variety of plugins that will allow you to do this. So while we can't do it with the original jQuery library, we can get extended plugins that will allow us to do this. So for now, what we've looked at is using the slider toggle function, uh, as we did in previous tutorials, but actually using stop to stop any animation, not just this type. Um, while it's being carried out.